test on our website to find the biggest Taylor Swift fan, and there were thousands and thousands of entries, and someone in this audience is the winner. Where is Madeline Traver? How are you? I'm really, really good. All right, so oh. here's the deal. Well, first of all, oh um, Taylor ran off to a benefit, and she sends her love, but we, she left gifts, so I'm giving you a lot of gifts and love from Taylor, all right? Okay. And where do you live? Where, where are you from? Um, Northern California. Northern California, mm -hmm. and what makes you the biggest Taylor fan? I, there's no one on this earth that just adores her, genuinely adores her more than I do. Like, she's an incredible person. You said it yourself. Yeah, she is. She has totally changed my life. I think she's amazing. She is amazing. All right, so um, I got some stuff for you, okay? Oh so here's a, a whole bunch of stuff, a basket. There's an autograph pack. There's a, a bunch of cover girls. There's Major Lux. There's all kinds of things. And she oh also God. wanted to give you Are some you floor seats. No, you're gonna no, go, no, 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 You're no. going to go see her oh in my floor God. seats. Oh The tickets to the LA show, you have floor seats, you have the autograph hat, you have the Nature Lux products. And the only thing, it would be it's a shame that Taylor's not here. That's the only problem. Oh, no way! Hey. Hey. Seventh grade. And who is your favorite singer in the world? Of course, Justin Bieber. Of course, Justin Bieber. I went to his concert when I was seven, and I fell in love with him. And mm -hmm. you only saw him once? Yeah. And you w were in love with him immediately, yeah. and it just lasted? Yeah, he had the Bieber hair. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, he's cute. He's a sweet guy, too. He's yeah. really sweet. Have you met him? Um, no. You should meet him. You want to meet him? Yeah. Justin, come on out. For you, huh? Oh, man. Yeah. Doing the whip and the nay nay. Oh, <laughs> so you're that. you really are a really good dancer. Thank you. I, that's yeah. what you want to do. I was, was yeah. saying that too backstage. Um, Justin is here to surprise you and to say hello, but I also think he wants to give you something. So um, I'm gonna be going back on tour, and I was wondering if maybe you wanted to come check it out and maybe meet my dancers and come backstage and. <laughs> So you got a tweet from Kobe, who is like your, is he, you love him. I love him. Okay. <laughs> and then, and so you see he tweets you and what happens? I mean, initially at the game, I saw him and he was UConn, had blue on, sitting at UConn. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, this is my idol. Cheering for my rivals, like, that's <laughs> awesome. But, and then after the game, I see him tweet at me. Like, my teammate brought it to me after a press conference. I was like, there's no way, there's no way. And then I tweeted at him, I was like, life complete. And he was like, no, it's not complete yet until you win the championship. And I think that was motivation for me, because I mean, I love him. I wear tw 24 because of him, and for him to tweet at me, and I named my dog Kobe after him, actually. So <laughs> for him to tweet at me was amazing. And after we won Sunday, he was like, wow, mission complete, li or life complete, actually, mama mentality. I was just like, 
this, this is not real. This is not my life right now. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, you, your life, you're in a very good moment right now. Yeah, definitely. It's really great. All right, I have a gift for you. We'll take a break and I'll give you your gift. We'll be back. <laughs> Enrique. So, so we, you went back to school, and like, are you just like the the queen of the campus? I mean, janitors asking to take pictures of me, random students like I'm walking down the hallway, which I usually just walk down. Nobody looks it down, but everybody's smiling at me. I'm like, hey, like, <laughs> what's up? So it's been crazy. Yeah, you're famous now. Yeah, a little bit. It's, yeah, it's a lot. A little bit. <laughs> okay, so um, you said you love uh, Kobe, and he tweeted uh, at you, but you've never met him, right? Yes, definitely. I think you should meet him. Kobe, come on out. Yeah. That's yeah. the champ. I know. <laughs> How about, I mean, first of all, you didn't, did you get one of these ever? Never. <laughs> no. Never, 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 never even came close to that. Did you really not play college basketball? <laughs> Completely skipped it. <laughs> really? Yeah, skipped right over it. I've also never hit a game winning shot at the buzzer to win a championship. You know, like, you gotta understand, that's like, that's like the picture per perfect moment. Like, as a kid, you dream about 5 4 3 2 1 to win the championship. And she actually did it. Twice. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. But you were you were rooting against her at first. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, like, you know, we're big Yukon family. I've known Gino forever, both from Philadelphia, and my daughter is a massive Yukon fan, right? And so after you hit the shot, she was completely like, <laughs> like really bad, right? And then she <laughs> She saw what you said, and she goes, we should have stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> but she, I mean, she loved it. I mean, she loves great players making great moves. She's actually been practicing that same move. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so it was absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. And I thought this, uh, you deserve that. You need to meet your yeah. hero. I mean. <laughs> really, hero. Yeah, yeah idol, hero. Everything. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Adam was kind of a big name in our house with my older daughters because they had a thing for him on The Voice. He's a babe. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't? Yep. And, uh, but not quite like Mila. So uh, when I was pregnant with my son, we would have a pregnant dance party to Sugar every day. And then she saw the video, and then she was marrying him. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been wanting to marry Adam for a long time? Yeah. He's like your boyfriend? Yeah. Have you ever talked to him or anything? Mm, no. Well, you will. I mean, if he's your boyfriend, at some point you will. <laughs> did you think, how did you know that she was, I mean, obviously you knew that she loved him, but when, when did you know that she'd react that way? Um, we were in the grocery store, and I think I said, Oh, Adam, Adam got married and meltdown. So, okay, no, let's, let's go over here, change the subject. And then uh, I felt really bad, but I asked, I told her again and I filmed it. You are. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, so. So you knew that she was gonna react that, that yeah. way and you just Sorry, filmed ben. her yeah. doing that. <laughs> And then, but then she got over it really fast, yeah. right? Yeah, we turned on the radio, we started singing, and you know, three-year-old style. Yeah. We moved on. You just moved on. But she still loves him. Yeah, you still love him a whole lot, right? Yeah. You like him or do you love him? I love him. You love him. <laughs> oh. Well, if he ever met you, he would love you too. Mm -hmm. um, he's, is he married or he's not married, right, Mila? He, yeah. He is or he's not? Um, he is he's married? Not. He's not married. <laughs> good, okay, because, because, so, but you're gonna marry him? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> when do you think you will marry him, and at what age? I don't know. You're gonna wait for a little while? Cause you're too young now, right? So you think you'll wait till you're like seven or eight? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well I have an outfit for you that I think you're gonna love a whole lot. And it's, uh, <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, here. and then you have pictures of him all over. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Mila! It's adorable. Yeah. What are you saying? Thank you. You're welcome. 
Okay. And I got you something else that it's not in this bag. Where is it? It's over there, I think. She's changed her mind. I don't know what happened. She's <laughs> over it. Yeah, it's it, you know. It's, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot to meet the love of your life all of a sudden. It's, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> what did you? I called you. I asked if you saw the video, and you said you had seen it. What did you think when you saw it? It was kind of heartbreaking, like, <laughs> but it was so unbelievably cute. And every single person that I know in my entire life sent it to you. <laughs> sent it to me. <laughs> First, I, the first two people were my, were my wife, sorry, mm. earmuffs, <laughs> uh, and then my mother, and they're like, this is so cute, and, and then we spoke, and, yeah. and here we are. And I, uh, and I and think- she's clearly transfixed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I hate to tell you, but I think it was Emily's plan to get you here for Emily oh. and me. I, I, I think that's what I think. All right. Yeah, All right. Well, this is very person. exciting, and uh, she's gonna she's gonna be excited later Hi. on. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Who is it? Mila? Do you know who this is? Who is this? Usher. <laughs> here's a tissue. So here's two sorry. tissues. Here's a microphone. Chanel. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So thank you so much for that. I love that you and your daughter watch the show together. Yes. That's fantastic. All right, you posted a video that got... <laughs> this is a video that you posted that got a lot of attention, right? Yes. Look at that. That's my baby. If, if that's not inspirational... <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much. That just gives us all hope when you see something like that. That's incredible. And you're Thank here you. on a day that Usher is here. I know you're a huge Usher fan, yes, too. Yes, I love him. Isn't that a coincidence yes, that you're here yes. on that day? Thank He's, you. He, I wanted him to stay. He had a, an appointment to get to, so he left. What do you love about Usher so much? I just love how he has the power to change people's life, and he takes advantage of that. Yeah. I love how awesome of a father he is. Um, any obstacle he had in his life, he's always tried to make it more positive and just spread the love like you spread it. I just love him so much. Uh, yeah, he didn't leave. He's still here. Yeah. So what I love about you, tell everybody why it was so important for you. You, you went to school. You went back to school. You wanted to graduate. Why was that important? I felt that it was important because I never wanted my daughter to just quit something. I wanted her to always, anything that she starts, she finished. And I had to show her through all the obstacles, through the three jobs that I had. And sometimes, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to right. do the things I wanted to do. You know what? I'm so inspired, you know, not only by your struggle, but the tenacity that you have to just continue to, to move forward. And me and Ellen want to, want, to, want to share something with you. All right. So we know that you have been doing everything that you just said, struggling like that. My friends at Hyundai love everything that you're doing to make life better for you and your daughter. They want to offer you a full-time job at your local dealership, so they're giving you a job. And Hyundai believes in you so much and that they want to give you a starting bonus of $20,000. Oh. Oh. oh my. 
Yeah. So that is incredible. So you're at this concert. You didn't know that she was going to ask you to sing. You're just there. Yeah. And she, she, how did you learn how to sing like that? So I've never had a vocal lesson before. And I, I just taught myself uh, off of Dina Menzel, Tori Kelly, Ariana Grande, uh, three amazing singers who taught me how to do riffs, runs, and hit these notes. Just at home in your room. Yeah, just as home as my in my room with right. my headphones on. Right. So you so you don't like you didn't like know any of that was going to happen. No. And then you get all this attention. Is she your favorite singer? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool to have this person that you love ask you to stand up and sing. Yeah. So you have a squad, right? Oh my gosh, I have at least twelve people in my squad at school. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you need, so, you need, you know who else you need in your squad? You. You need me, and you know who else you need in your squad? Portia. Yeah, you need Portia. <laughs> you know who else you need in your squad? Confidence in himself in the most beautiful way. I mean, really, to sing that song in front of me, first of all, yeah, I, mean, I know, it's kind of weird. And um, just, he's just so beautiful. He just got up there on stage, and I didn't know what to do with the other kids. I didn't yeah. want them to feel that right. after. <laughs> you didn't want, because you do that at your concert, but yeah. you never know what you're going to get. You never and most know. Kids just kind of sing a lot of times, the boys come up and they want nothing to do with me. Their moms like force them up there. <laughs> and one kid wanted to sing the Trolls or something, the I Justin know. Timberlake song. And I said to you, do you want to sing that? You probably don't like Frozen. And he said, no, of course I want to sing yeah. this song. Well, was... this is really, really cool that she's here, right? Yeah. We're back with Tony, and we were just playing Katy Perry during the break because she was a big inspiration. What song did you listen to a lot? Rise. Rise. The lyrics to that song are so powerful. Yeah. Every word in that song is just powerful. So yeah. I embraced it. And my boyfriend is annoyed already by the song. <laughs> but I play it and play it and play it because it's still so, it's so is. beautiful. It, it, it is a beautiful song. And uh, have you met Katie yet or no? Yeah. No? You want to meet Katie? Katie! Yeah. by each other and so inspired. Thanks. Katie wanted to be here when she heard uh, how she impacted you and said, to, I saw her the other night. She's like, I'm not going to be able to hold it together. No, I, I like folded a napkin in my hand like a little granny and had it up my <laughs> sleeve. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Your story is so inspirational. I just want to say thank you for everything you do. Your lyrics to that song helped me from the day that I was in the hospital all the way to now. You're welcome. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. We're both lights. <laughs> yeah. Ellen, yeah. you're a light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you could be here. That's so sweet of you to come because I, this was this was important to him, obviously. Yeah, and of course. Um, you you do know that your music does that for people, obviously. You and you see people singing your lyrics when you're out performing, but to know it touches someone who is struggling and getting through something this yeah. uh, tough. Is... Life isn't easy, and you need little reliefs. Yeah, through songs, quite possibly. I'm happy to be a joy. I'm happy to be a light, and I'm happy I could be there in my own little way to help you. All right. 
We are back with Kylie and Chris Jenner. A few weeks ago, we announced that Kylie would be giving away a million dollars to one to someone on our premiere week, and we received a whole lot of submissions, but there was one that really caught our attention. So, Chris, tell uh, everybody about Samantha. So, Samantha is a 27-year-old girl and lives in Miami, Florida, where she runs a woman's empowerment group called The Nest of Love. She felt there weren't enough female role models in her community, so she started this group where she brings young women together every single week to mentor them. So we flew in Samantha and 10 members of Nest of Love. They're backstage right now with Jeannie, and they think that they're going to be shooting a promo for our season premiere, but when I say go, we're going to pop up on the monitor and surprise them. Let's listen for a second. Let's get started, you guys. So ladies, tell me, who are the two people who really inspire you? Kylie Jenner. Oh my God. Oh my God. Kylie. What do you love about Kylie? She's a boss babe. Yeah. Like, she's the yes. ultimate like yes. businesswoman. Like yes. I don't know. She's inspiring, honestly. Yeah. Hey, you guys. <laughs> I know that uh, I know you think you're showing, shooting a promo, but uh, why don't you come out here so we can talk? a lot to spring on you and to start talking, but what you've done is in incredible. I want you to explain uh, to everyone why you started this organization. Um, so my mom had me when she was 17. Oh my God. My okay. mom had me when she was 17 years old and uh, uh, um, my grandmother raised me. My father really wasn't present in my life. So for me, um, I mean, I could look back and I think my mom did an incredible job and you're an incredible mother as well. Oh, thank you. So, um, for me, it's just like helping other girls that have been in my same similar situation. And I definitely think, woo! All right. That. That's, no, it's amazing because you look back and you, you realize she was doing the best she could and you, you got yourself into trouble because you didn't really appreciate it and she was young yeah. and you were young. So you said, I need to, to help create strong women role models. Mm -hmm. So you had a really well-paying job in the corporate world, and you yeah. gave it up to do this, which I think is amazing. So what, I mean, really, she gave up her job. Yeah. Explain, uh, Daniela and Brianna, right? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. explain what you do as a group, what <laughs> kinds of things. Oh, man. Explain um, the Old Navy thing. The Old Navy thing was great. Yeah, so the Old Navy thing was amazing, actually. We closed down Old Navy. They gave 400 foster kids $100 gift cards for them to go shopping, get all the um, clothes that they needed for school. We Adidas sponsored us as well, or sponsored the event. And it gave them um, free pair of shoes for all the kids. And then we also got them school supplies. Oh, hold on, let me like catch my breath <laughs> yeah, here. Uh, <laughs> school supplies and backpacks, and it was just beautiful to see that they were actually going to be able to go back to school and not feel like they didn't have yeah. everything that they needed. It's incredible. It's because beautiful. it's one thing to have the idea, okay. and then to see it happen. Okay, All right, well, <laughs> we want you to keep uh, helping the community and mentoring young women, so Kylie has something for you, and uh, I will tell you what it is. $150,000 for Nest of Love. Oh. To start with. Yay. Yay. Yay! All right, and Samantha. And um, Samantha. We have something for you too. Personally. For oh. Samantha personally. All right, so we have the makeup box for you. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Open it up. Oh you gotta open it up. up. It's $100,000 for you. Oh, my God. 